Hi, this is Luke for Production Experts, and this is how to use Audio Moves Listen To MIDI functions. For a long time, Listen To has let engineers and artists stream audio remotely between DAWs. Now you'll notice that my master is all the way down, and that's because as soon as I press play in my DAW, what you're actually hearing right now is the audio out of the artist's DAW at their end. And if they mute their master output, it's gone. Now, listen to Let's Artists and Engineers stream MIDI as well as audio using the new Listen To Instrument plugin. Today, I'm using Listen To Instrument to pipe my guide MIDI and audio out to the artist so that they can cook up a sound at their end using their own virtual instrument. So I have a Listen To Instrument plugin across an instrument's track in Pro Tools and I've made a send of my mix bus and I've set that as the main input of the instrument track that has Listen To Instruments across it and that way I can send audio and MIDI to the artist using the Listen To Instruments plugin. And when I hit play, I can see the MIDI light in Listen To Instruments that confirms that I'm sending MIDI as well as audio. And the MIDI light only works if you have the correct license and if you start the stream. Over in the artist DAW, in this case Studio One, they have an instance of Listen To Receiver on a bus channel to hear what's going on. So they just paste the link into that instance. And when I run audio at my end in Pro Tools, you can hear the audio out of their door as well as the MIDI light in Listen To Receiver showing that they're receiving both my audio and my MIDI streams. Now getting the DAW to pick up the MIDI stream is different from DAW to DAW, but in Studio One, the virtual MIDI ports that is automatically generated in Listen To can be set up as an external device. And then over in the Channel Inspector, that is set as the MIDI input for their virtual instruments. Okay, let's confirm that's all working. So I'm just gonna mute my guide base, run my transports, and as soon as the artist unmutes the synth at their end, there it is. So that is audio from my Pro Tools session with the sound from the virtual instruments in the artist's DAW. And usefully the MIDI stream can be delayed as well. So the artist can go in and dial in the amount of delay as well if they need to, to get the two things to line up. Now, if my artist were also using Pro Tools, I could even generate MTC using the Listen To app to control the transport in their DAW. And you can see how that's done just by clicking the link above. So that's how to use MIDI using Audio Movers Listen To. Remote MIDI streaming for instruments and even transport control from anywhere in the world. To find out more and to read our full article, head over to the Production Expert blog.